Live from the editor's chair, Cochrane's Cotton. Caught in the act, on camera. You couldn't make it up. Well, you could, but this time it's for real. I refer to the front page story where community councillor and campaigner Ian Murdoch has revealed that he has photographs of the four elected councillors and some community councillors all illegally parking in that controversial street, Aiken Street in Largs. He has shown this newspaper photographs which so far he has not given permission to publish. Uh, he didn't want to distract, he said, from the work he was doing for the recent Highland Games and Family Fun Day. Now, Councillor Murdoch, who admits that he has at times himself parked on yellow lines during the course of his business as a window cleaner and general handyman, is making the point that there's no point, in fact, in certain people jumping up and down and creating all sorts of controversy when they, in fact, are culprits themselves. Personally, I resist the temptation to park outside Tesco's in Aiken Street, even on a quiet night, and I prefer to walk a short distance. But the problem is in Lars there are too many people, too many lazy folk that just come and sit outside the likes of Tesco. Now, lest I sound holier than thou, I would say at this point that as a non-church goer, which of course is among the overwhelming majority now in society, I do think there's a case for allowing the Sunday faithful to be allowed to park outside the churches. I mean, let's face it, the Sunday faithful are almost all in the pensioner category. And they're going about their godly business on a quiet Sunday morning when most of us are still turning over in our scratchers. I'm not saying I told you so, but I told you so. As Vice Chairman of the Largs Development Trust, and that's another topic altogether, I advocated and they advocated that that piece of grass outside the Brisbane Centre in Bath Street, it could easily be converted to a car park. And not only would it be used by the visitors, but it would be used by the congregations of St John's and Clark Memorial Church. Now, ironically, Councillor Tom Marshall, who opposed it with fire and brimstone, he is now, I believe, approaching the council and the police to try and take away some of the yellow lines outside the churches. However, the laugh of the week in the paper must be a front page photograph of a zebra crossing in Aiken Street. Now it's not a real zebra crossing, but this lady, one of our readers who wants to remain anonymous, has sewed a zebra crossing and she put it down at the weekend. Well, perhaps the lady could be allowed to turn up every so often and lay down a zebra crossing. Or maybe, just maybe, the authorities could finally decide, yeah, you know what, Aiken Street deserves a proper crossing. And that would do away with a lot of the aggravation.